together. Oh, but now, but now that we're separated, we can't stand one another. Come on. Put that on everything I own. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. What up, Saggies? I had to do that for y'all. I had to come in strong for y'all. Because this song came on, they threw it all the way back. <coughs> Ooh. Voice a little harsh. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. It is your girl here. Miss A, huh? A, why? A, 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 a. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Y'all feeling good? Saggies! I love y'all so much, Saggies. I love y'all so much. I hope all is well with you. I hope you're blessed, living well, doing well. Your families are well. Your pets are well. Hope everything's going okay with your jobs. Now, I'm here to talk about your love life, Sag. That's what I'm here to talk about. But before we get into the reading, couple things, couple things. First off, if you would like to inquire about a personal reading with your girl, you can do so by emailing me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. That's MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com to inquire about personal readings. Okay, it takes me about three to five days to get you the reading because I am getting a lot of requests right now. Okay, I do have a lot of readings that I have to do. So um, I don't want to get backed up. So I need three to five days to get you the reading. If you need your reading ASAP within 24 hours, you can do so by paying an expedited fee. Because sometimes we can't wait no three to five days, especially if it's a love situation. So I understand. And your girl is here. Your girl is here. All right. So Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Email me. We can set up the personal reading. We can get it expedited if you need it. If not, it's three to five days. Thank you kindly. If the reading resonates with you, it's not going to resonate with every single Sag. And that's okay. I still love y'all. Hopefully, y'all still love me. Because every reading ain't going to be for everybody. Okay? If it does resonate, okay? Don't forget to leave me a comment. If you feel comfortable, let me know how it resonates. Put your girl on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? What I'm saying? What I'm saying? All right. Hmm. What else I want to say? Sag, I love y'all. Feeling positive today, okay? To the stupid cunt. I'm sorry, that's a horrible word to use. God forgive me, Lord. Spirit, please forgive me. To the stupid person that left me a horrible comment today under the Taurus video. You can literally suck my whole dick and balls. If I had one, I would put them both in your mouth at the same time. Because you're nothing but a fucking hater, okay? This girl comes on my Taurus reading like, I'm spreading nothing but love. And you're going to come in my shit? You're going to come in my shit? Talking shit for what? Oh, you need to use less profanity and more professionalism. You need to suck my dick. Fuck you mean. And I cursed again, ho. Don't tell me how to live. What's with the internet? Everybody always trying to tell people how to, who to be and how to live. Stop! It's like the internet is taking away people's identity. Let people be who they want to be. I'm not disrespecting nobody. If I want to curse, I curse. This is my channel. You're getting a free reading. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Even if you didn't like the fact that I'm cursing, why would you take the time out of your day to leave me a paragraph and say that? How is that better in your life? Instead of you just saying, okay, I don't fuck with her. She's not my type of tower reader. Move on. Go find yourself some, bar some boring ass tower reader. Otherwise, suck a dick and shut up and leave me alone. I'm here spreading love and I'm always in a good mood. I'm spreading nothing but positivity. You have no life and you're a boring ass person. Damn. Sorry, the Scorpio came out right there. Mm. Anyway, Saggies, without further ado, I don't want to hold up your reading. But y'all always talk to me. You know I had to tell y'all when people be tripping. And they be fucking tripping. Anyway, Sag, it's four minutes in. Let's get into your reading, all right? Sorry about that. I just need to vent to y'all, okay? So how is my Sagittarius feeling in love? That's what I want to see. I got a brand new deck for y'all, the Tarot of Dreams today. You guys are my first 
sign. You're actually the first. I didn't even use this on myself. <laughs> I usually always try new decks on myself first, but I didn't use this one on myself. So you guys are taking this deck's virginity. Oh my god. Oh. Eight of Wands in reverse. Tried to pop out. Okay, is there like some type of hold up here? Or are you not? There's like this means that there's not a message coming in. There's a there's um there's stagnancy, there's delays. The star tried to pop out in reverse too. Are you are you feeling like you don't believe in this love relationship or this connection? Or are you lacking faith? You losing hope? Don't do that, Sag. Let's see what comes out in your foundation cards, okay? Thank you, Spirit, for a clear and guided reading. Watch somebody leave me a comment and say I talk too much. On my own channel. That's like telling uh, uh, Wendy Williams she talked too much. It's her show, you idiot. How is Sagittarius feeling in love? <laughs> oh, people, yo. Thank you, Spirit, for a clear and guided reading. Thank you for a positive message from my Sagittarius. Show me how to guide them. Thank you for proper discernment of the cards through divination. Show me the way. Show me how Sagittarius are feeling in love. Please, Spirit, let me guide them. How are my Sagittarius feeling in love? Shit. Let somebody leave me a comment and say I take too long to pull the cards, right? That's what some one person left. Oh my God, it took so long for you. Are you an idiot? The Hermit. Okay, Virgo energy. So some of my Saggies right now are in hermit mode. If this is not true, this is your person, Virgo energy. If you're dealing with a Virgo. But this is about solitude. This is about a, a pause, taking time away to really go through self-introspection. Find who you are, your purpose in life, being spiritually enlightened. Virgo energy right there, okay? And the Knight of Wands is here on the bottom of the deck. Okay? So that's your energy, Sag. So some of y'all have been traveling. Some of y'all are very passionate about something right now. Um, if you're not in hermit mode, um, if not traveling, then I just see y'all passionate. Moving, taking care of things. That is your card, the Knight of Wands. That is the Sagittarius card. Oof. The Seven of Swords. Why? <laughs> you all right grandma mm, <laughs> my grandma's here with me I'm, t I'm watching her right now that's why you see i'm in a different location you okay you finish eating finish eating your popeye finish eating take your spoon and finish eating baby okay all right let's see so seven of swords shows me that's deception mm -hmm. seven of swords is about shh. seven of swords is about deception cheating trickery lies underhanded behavior the tower is here in reverse this is about resisting change here. Scorpio energy. So somebody could be resisting change. Ace of Swords is in reverse. No communication possibly with somebody. Possibly a painful argument. Brutal words being said. The Queen of Wands just tried to pop out. And it like flipped over on its own. I don't even think I did that. Just flipped over on its own. Wow. So I see y'all looking good. Some of y'all think about somebody from the past here with the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. But being the Queen of Wands, I see some of y'all. Y'all are passionate. Y'all are fiery. Y'all are determined. Um, you're focused. You're driven. You know what I mean? Very confident. Some of y'all really like to take care of others. Like take care of other people. Okay? But the Seven of Swords, there's some trickery here. some deception here. We, gotta, we have to clarify that. See what that Seven of Swords is about right there. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay? Let's see what, that, what these mean. This is about a lack of passion. With the faith... Hmm. Now, what is that? I think that's the Hierophant in this. Yeah, that's the Hierophant in this deck. Is it the Hierophant? I think so. Yeah, it's the Hierophant. Yeah. Some of y'all are like really spiritual connected right now. Connecting with spirit, really trying to learn, really trying to listen to your intuition, uh, follow spirit guides. Um, Page of Cups popped out with the Six of Cups again. So there's somebody here that possibly will be sending you a message. With that page of cups energy. Let me move it over here so you can see it clearly. Yeah, 
yeah that page of cups energy shows me that um make sure you guys can see all the cards don't i know i'm ocd when it comes to the cards i know okay so the six of swords is here it looks like there's somebody here from your past that wants to come in and send you a message sag somebody here from your past is thinking about you um i see you being in hermit mode okay i see there's a resistance to change i see there's some sneakiness here i see you being confident I see you wanting having a new passion for something but being hesitant to jump in it and i see a page of cups possibly somebody younger than you cancer pisces scorpio that wants to come in and send you a message okay some of my sagittarius are pregnant right now show me the hermit card if you are congratulations the hermit the two of cups in reverse there we go that's why i love to clarify with the two of swords in reverse there's somebody here that you are either not with you're separated from there was a either a breakup separation there's a disharmony here there's a disconnect this can also mean incompatibility, okay? This Gemini energy. This shows me that you are in spiritual transformation mode because there is there was a breakup. There was an ending here or whatever this disconnect is from this person. It's caused you to really want to look into spiritual enlightenment. Find yourself, define the problem, um, see who you are within, um, and just think, just overthink everything. Like when you're in the hermit mode, you're just really, really, it's a time to be enlightened. It's a time to be enlightened, okay? Maybe this breakup enlightened you, some of you. I feel like, I mean, that happens a lot for most of us. You know, when we get hurt or things end or, you know, things don't go as we expect it, sometimes we do have to just kind of meditate on the energy. All right, show me the seven of swords. This is what I want to see. What What is with that sneaky? Show me spirit. Why is the seven of swords here, spirit? Why is the seven of swords here, spirit? Why is the seven of swords here for Sag? The high, mm. What the hell does that mean with the five of cups in reverse? Hmm. The seven of swords with the hierophant Taurus card right here. So I already said that some of y'all are definitely, hmm, possibly, I feel like somebody here did this sneakiness to y'all. Okay. But I feel like y'all are really... Whatever happened, if there was some type of deception here towards you, Sag, or somebody did something wrong to you, or somebody hurt you, I see, you know, or, or was deceptive to you, I see you really connecting with spirit after this situation. That's what I see. But let me clarify here, because I'm seeing a five of cups in reverse. Maybe you, but why is that sneaky? I don't know. Or maybe that's your strategy. You know, connect with spirit to be able to get over their hurt. Show me the tower card in reverse. All right, we got the three of cups here. Okay, so, oh, what the hell does this mean? Three of cups with the tower in reverse. This is a resistance to change, but this is celebration gatherings here. So possibly for some of you, somebody invited you to some type of an invitation. Or invited you to some type of gathering and I see you not wanting to go. You're resisting it. Knight of Swords. Fleeing from it. Maybe somebody from your past here invited you to something. Okay. Um, or something with your friends here I'm seeing. The Six of Cups again. There's something going on with somebody from your past here. You got the Six of Cups twice. Show me the Queen of Wands. The chariot. Oh, okay. You strong, though. I tell you that you will. You got willpower, determination, and strength. The chariot. Okay. I feel like there's been a lot of um obstacles. There's been a lot of shit thrown at you. Possibly to do with this relation, this connection. I feel like you stayed strong with the chariot. That's cancer energy. You stayed strong throughout this, especially with the queen of wands as the foundation card. You stayed confident. You stayed strong. You know what I mean? I see you staying focused. Okay. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all are like trying to work to keep your minds off of this situation. Or some of y'all are working too much. Show me the Ace of Wands in reverse. 
the three of swords okay so you're heartbroken whatever happened whatever this separation was you're still healing right now that's why you're not jumping in with ace of wands in reverse you're not jumping in um um yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and fuck somebody or i'm just gonna go ahead and uh yeah go on and start something new really quick no you want to wait because this was painful for you aquarius libra gemini you went through a breakup somebody betrayed you here okay this is one of the worst cards in the deck okay because it's about pain okay possibly for the with the nine of pentacles in reverse some of y'all this person tried to use y'all for money or they took advantage of you financially show me the page of cups Ooh, the death card with the knight of cups oh shit sag somebody that you ended things with is going to send you a message point blank period <laughs> I don't know how much to say this to you. There's somebody here, death card with the page of cups. There's somebody here that you ended things with, okay? Page of cups, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody possibly younger than you that's very emotional, very moody, okay? Death could be a Scorpio. You ended things with them. They are coming back, Sag, with the Knight of Cups. They're coming back to make you an offer. Coming back to make you an offer, sending you a message. Show me the Six of Cups. Some of y'all have kids with this person, family with this person, with that Six of Cups. That's my taking care of kids card. Or it could be, you know, memories from the past. Somebody, some of y'all, somebody snuck off here and got married. That was a message I'm getting for somebody specifically. There's a lot of conflict around this person from the past. But you cannot walk away with the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of drama. Five of Wands. Could have to do with other people. Conflict here. But you can't walk away with the Eight of Cups. Possibly because, you know, I. That's what that Three of Cups is. Somebody want to come back to you and I see you resisting it with the, with the Tower in Reverse. Even though you're thinking so hard about this person. So hard about this person. I don't get what the Seven of Swords is, though. That's what I really want to see. That's weird with the Hierophant. I don't get it. I'm going to try to clarify that and then I'll get into your persons. Because that's like, hmm? Show me the seven of swords, please, spirit. Show me the seven of swords. Why is this seven of swords here? Why is this seven of swords here, please, for sad? Show me the seven of swords. Why is this seven of swords here? Please show me, spirit. That almost tried to pop out. Show me the seven of swords. The queen of... Hmm. Huh. Are y'all sneaking? Well, hold on. Show me. Show me the seven of swords. The chariot. It's something you, you being sneaky about. Maybe your feelings. The page of cups. It's something you being, I think your feelings. Maybe the way you feel. It's something here. Yeah, the devil. Wow. Okay, the two of swords. And the night of war. There you go. It's something here about. I'm seeing the devil card. So there's some type of toxicity here with that seven of swords and the devil. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing you as the queen of wands. So I'm seeing you being, you know, again, the queen of wands with the chariot. We saw that earlier. Okay, that's you being determined, being able to move forward past whatever this deception was. I see you staying grounded through it. Okay, page of cups with the devil card. There's some type of deception here with this person, this page of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Either this person is very, um, with that devil card, that's about addictions. Okay, usually sexual energy there. So maybe this person has a, um, maybe they're, you know, the page of cups can mean seduction. Maybe this person is a seductor. Maybe this person, you know, it's something toxic with this person. And you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And I see you being able to handle whatever it is. Let's get into their energy right now, okay? Show us this person. 
Show us this person's spirit. Show us this person that is thinking about Sag. How do they feel about Sag and what would their actions be moving forward towards Sagittarius? How does this person feel towards Sag? Show me this person's spirit. Oh, that popped the fuck out. The Queen of Swords in reverse. <gasps> they feel like you cut them the fuck off. Queen of Swords in reverse. They feel like you are not going to forgive them. They feel like you're unforgiving, cold, detached. Oh, wow. The Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the they want me to be with you. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just saying because your Page of Swords in reverse and Queen of Swords in reverse, you ain't fucking with them. <laughs> you ain't fucking with it. They know you're not fucking with it. You're not talking to them, some of y'all. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands, though. I'm seeing them wanting to come forward, like... Feeling like they could, um, you know, persevere here. They're still believing. See what I'm saying? The page of coins. Some of y'all are dealing with uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person wants to talk to you. And I feel like some of y'all, this is a Leo. They want to come forward with the strength card. And they have the courage to. They want to come forward. And they got the motherfucking courage to. See that? The Eight of Wands in reverse. Again, we saw that in the beginning, remember? About a message not coming in or something being blocked here. I feel like this person is, they want to send you a message, but they're scared. They're scared of you. They see you as the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all, they see you as a liar. They see you as deceitful. The Ace of Swords in reverse. There's really no communication here. Two of Wands. This person is really trying to decide if they should stay or go. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And I'm seeing a lot of air. Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini. Saggy, sorry about that. I had a brief little um, intermission right there. I had to, sorry. <coughs> Let's get back to doing your reading. I'm sorry about that. So we were at no communication. Ace of Swords in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm seeing no communication with the Ace of Swords in reverse. All the communication cards are in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse, which shows me you're not talking. How else does this person feel about Sad Spirit? Thank you for a clear and guided reading. Ooh, the Seven of Coins in reverse, the Temperance in reverse. Sad, here's your card, but then you got them being imbalanced right now. This person is stressed out, either drinking or, uh, or um, you know, doing something here in access could be eating you know what i mean uh, temperance is about just being in balance in life then when you're in balance it usually means because you're doing something in access you're doing something in access so the ace of wands came out with the ace of coins in reverse so this person has a lot of passion for you but they feel like you're a missed opportunity a lost opportunity possibly how else does this person feel towards sag wow well, they see you as, um, wow, I'm trying to figure out oh, the hangman in reverse. They thought about this a lot. There's the seven of swords under it. Something happened here and you're coming up in reverse with the queen of wands reverse. So I don't know if some of y'all cheated on this person. I don't know what's going on here. I'm seeing Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like they see you as very abundant. Okay. If you are a... Sagittarius male, I see you talking to two females. If you're a Sagittarius male, I see one female here who cut you off, Queen of Swords in reverse. And then I see another female here, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody a little bit more, not as rough, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. That's if you're a male. Um, if you're a female, this person sees you as very abundant. Somebody that's, you know, very financially independent. Somebody that could be a good mother. Very marriage material. Um, but they still see you as not talking to them. Show me this Queen of Swords in reverse. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Two of Pentacles. <laughs> With the Hermit in reverse. 
So <laughs> this person is really trying to decide if they want to send you a message. The Hermit in Reverse popped out. So I feel like they want you to come out from being in solitude or whatever you're doing. Whatever this is, they don't they want to end this, um, you know, in the silence. But I see them with the two of pentacles in reverse. They're really trying to balance their life right now. The knight of swords. So this person is um, they want to come rushing in towards you. The hermit again in reverse. Somebody felt rejected here with that hermit in reverse, left out in the cold, possibly feeling like somebody because they keep getting the hermit in reverse and you got the hermit. So I feel like either this is a Virgo you're dealing with or this is somebody that feels that you're closed off from them. Show me the page of coins and I feel like they want to come rushing in. This person needs to learn to control their mouth. Some of y'all, this person got a reckless mouth. You make them very happy with the nine of coins. Oof, but they're manipulative with the magician in reverse. They 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 very tricky with their with their energy here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Some of y'all are dealing with, but this person sees you as their wish fulfillment with that nine of cups. And they what would really make them happy is if you um sent them a message or just to re get back to communicating with you. Show me the ace of swords in reverse. The seven of pentacles again in reverse. This person feels like they've invested a lot. Eight of cups in reverse. They can't walk away from you. They've invested a lot into this connection with that seven of pentacles in reverse. And they're really trying to decide. They're questioning now, wondering if it's worth it. Should they keep investing? You know what I mean? Is it over? Show me the seven of coins in reverse. You got that from two different tarot decks. This person got it. Show me the seven of coins in reverse. The lovers. Wow. Gemini energy. I feel like they're going to keep giving because, see, again, Ace of Swords in reverse. You cut them out, I feel like. You cut them off or this is about cutting through to get to the truth. The lovers here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini. This person has a deep connection with you. They feel like a real soulmate connection. And they really are really questioning here. Show me the Queen of Coins in reverse. Show me the Queen of Coins. I'm sorry, not reverse, upright. Show me the Queen of Coins. Show me the Queen of Coins, a.k.a. the Queen of Pentacles. You the queen of coins, huh? Male or female? Oh, wow. The sun. Damn. With the queen of wands. Wow. Sad you got this person open. Six of cups in reverse. They can't let go of the memories. Mm. They can't let it go. They can't let you go. Four of cups. They depressed. Sad. Miserable. Hate what the universe is bringing to them. Because they won't chew. Hey, eight of wands again from two different tarot decks. This person going to send you a message. The wheel of fortune was under that in reverse. Maybe not right now, but you got the happiest card in the deck. The sun. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. This person sees you as their son. You make them happy. Very, very, very happy. They see you as abundant. Somebody that's. Um, long-term commitment they coming up as a page of coins though they coming up as a page like if you're the queen of pentacles i mean they gotta step they shit up i'm sorry and queen of pentacles that's male or female that's just the energy that's just somebody that's nurturing grounded in they shit you know um on top of they shit a businesswoman businessman grounded somebody making a money somebody who's educated got they shit together who's very financially independent and they coming in as a page i mean the page is good don't get me wrong Cause they're focused, they're they're a lot, they're, they're they're determined, you know what I mean, and they they want stability and long term, but it's just a little bit energy of a little bit younger than you possibly, and they coming up as a knight of swords, or this might be you leaving them, mm. and they really trying to manage since you cut them off with the two of pentacles. They really are trying to balance out their life, really trying to balance the situation out, cause you really make them happy. I mean. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. And it keeps seeing you as the queen of wands. Male or female energy. This is energy of somebody that's sex, sexy, passionate. Somebody that's vibrant. Somebody that's a social charmer. Somebody that's charming. You know what I mean? Somebody that's the life of the party. Somebody everybody won't. But I keep seeing this seven of swords here. So I don't know. If there's, there's something here somebody did. There's something here. Either I mean, the seven of swords doesn't have to mean cheating. Doesn't have to mean betrayal, doesn't have to mean deception. It can mean just like either you're keeping your feelings from one another or, you know what I mean, somebody's not being completely honest about the way they feel. Could mean a lot of things.
All right, Sag, I'm going to do something special for you now, okay? Something different. We're going to go through the signs now, okay? And see. If you are Sagittarius dealing with an Aries, let's go. How does the Aries feel about Sagittarius? How does the Aries feel about Sagittarius? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Too many cards came out there. Let's see. We'll go through sign by sign. <laughs> All right. How does Aries feel about Sagittarius? Mm -hmm. How does Aries feel about Sagittarius? Let's see, Sag. Shh, I'm doing a video, Grandma. All right, we got the star card in reverse. Oof, we got the seven of wands, and we got the seven of swords in reverse, uh, six of swords in reverse. So this person, if you're dealing with an Aries Sagittarius, this person is having trouble believing in this in this connection. With the faith, I mean, with the star card in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of obstacles between the two of you with the seven of wands. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Like maybe they're trying to, um, there's a lot of competition. You know what I mean? But then I'm seeing the six of swords in reverse. All right. So that's about going back to a bad situation, going back to a risky situation. And the moon card is here. Okay. About using your intuition about the situation. So spirit says use your intuition if you're dealing with the Aries. But I see them like feel like they have to really fight for your attention or fight to keep other people away from you. All right. Let's see. Aries is... Who's at the Aries? I always forget. Hold on, I know what I'm gonna pull up right now. This will help me because I now I got my laptop right here. Right Zodiac. Cause I'd be like, uh, uh here we go. All right, Aries. All right, so now let's do Taurus. All right, if you were Sagittarius dealing with a Taurus, how does the Taurus feel about you? Let's see. How does a Taurus feel about Sagittarius? You make them very, very happy. Um, <laughs> they don't want to complete this cycle with the world in reverse. So Taurus. So for some reason, they're coming up as the queen of coins in reverse is Taurus. So I don't know if they don't have no money or they're a bit imbalanced or what the, what the issue is. Maybe they're a bit insecure. But I see that you make them very, very happy. You're like their wish fulfillment. And I see them with the, ooh, ten of swords in reverse. Some of y'all, there was an ending between you and that Taurus. Okay, and I see them getting over it, possibly wanting to rekindle with you. Getting over the pain of whatever happened. Maybe they weren't faithful to you with the queen of coins in reverse. But I see them with the world in reverse. They don't want to close out this cycle with you. Gemini. If you're a Sagittarius dealing with a Gemini. How does a Gemini feel? How does a Gemini feel? Yeah, <laughs> How does the Gemini feel? Oh, the hangman in reverse. The king of wands. All right. They see you as the king of wands. So they see you as very fiery. Somebody very attractive. Somebody very passionate. The hangman is in reverse though. So there's some stagnancy here. And the, oh, eight of cups. Somebody's walking away. Oh, with the seven of swords here. Okay, some deception here. Seven of swords in reverse. Okay. So they see you as powerful, passionate, Sag. But this person, I feel like they may be trying to walk away from you with this eight of cups. They possibly may be walking away from you or trying to contemplate walking away with you with that hangman they're not thinking but the seven of swords is here in reverse so this is either about an apology or conscious something on their mind how does the cancer feel show me how the cancer feels towards sag how does the cancer feel about sagittarius how does the cancer feel about sag how does the cancer feel about sagittarius The seven of cups. Okay, they got options. Eight of swords. Ooh, this person got a lot of issues. A lot of shit on their mind. They feel trapped about something here. 
that's the Gemini. I mean, why did I just say that? Eight of Cups. Wow, this person's walking away from you. Cancer. Or they're thinking about it if you're dealing with a Cancer. Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all, they feel like you cut them out. But I feel like this person feel like they got options. I feel like they're really thinking about what happened between the two of you with that Eight of Swords on their mind constantly. But I feel like they might be walking away with that Eight of Cups. Okay, and the Queen of Swords is here in reverse. Possibly could have been like a toxic connection there. All right. Show me the Leo. How does the Leo feel about Sag? How does the Leo feel about Sag? Let's see. Ooh. They want to send you a message, this Leo. They're very passionate about you. They're coming up kind of immature, though, like younger than you. Ace of Swords. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all, y'all have a good conversation. Oh, the wheel is here. Wheel of Fortune. So that means good changes coming in here. Yeah, that means good changes coming up in here. Hold on one second. I want to see. What is that? Um. Oh, the Palace of Swords. I mean, the Palace of... I never saw that before. Hold on, because this is a new this is a new deck. So, so you got let me see where is oh it's in the bottom. Okay, it's in the back. The Palace of Swords. This card shows an environment that promotes clear thinking in the cold, crisp air. The structures rise above the obscuring mist that usually cloud our thinking and are built as observation decks for purpose of efficient perception rather than luxurious leering living the many wings suggest the mind's ability to overcome emotional biases and attain a global perspective so this in reverse so somebody here is confused this leo is confused about something here because it's in reverse but i see them having passion for you i see them wanting to send you a message and i see that the sex is good and the fire is good between y'all ace of swords here some of y'all y'all have really good um communication with this person but there's something here with this pal palace of swords in reverse maybe holding this person back but i see changes coming good changes with that wheel of fortune show me the virgo show me the virgo how does the virgo feel about sag how does this virgo feel about sagittarius Ooh, there's a lot of conflict around this virgo oh my god a lot of conflict around the Virgo. Oof. I see they want a new beginning with you, though. Okay. They want a new beginning with you. All right. They see you as, um, some of y'all, this Virgo is very, um, very financially independent. Somebody that worked hard for everything they have. Okay. But I see them want to bring stability here. The Hierophant is in reverse. So possibly this was a broken marriage, broken commitment. Okay. Possibly because of all this conflict. Okay. But I see there's conflict around you guys. But I see this person wants a new beginning. Something stable and long term. Oh, yeah. Six of Cups is probably somebody from your past, that Virgo. And they're thinking about you hard, Sag. All right. Show me the Libra. How does the Libra feel? How does the Libra feel towards Sagittarius? Show me the Libra. Show me the Libra spirit. Show me the Libra. The hangman in reverse, the page of coins, and the three of coins. Hmm. With the star, this person's having a hard time keeping the faith about this. But I see them wanting to talk to you. And I see them wanting to come together. Okay? With the page of coins, page of pentacles. They're pretty stable. They look like they will be younger than you. But I feel like they got to clear their mind with the hangman in reverse. Okay? Something here, they got to really, they need to gain a new perspective on something here. But they not, also are not having hope, not believing. Show me the Scorpio. Oh, boy. How does the Scorpio feel about Sag? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. I really want to meet you. How does the Scorpio feel about Sagittarius? 
How does this Scorpio feel about Sagittarius? What is this crazy ass Scorpio's feelings towards Sagittarius? I'm a Scorpio, so I can say it. I know we crazy. It's all right. We crazy in love, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does this Scorpio feel about Sag? Fuck. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, the high priestess. Okay, in reverse. Somebody not using their intuition. Withdrawal and silence. Chariot. Okay. The Scorpio got the willpower, though. And determination to get through any obstacles y'all having right now. Major Arcana of strength. Being able to move forward. There's that palace of swords. There's a great com there's a great communication here between you and this person. Two of wands. So the Scorpio's trying to decide. That's why. They're not using their intuition right now. Scorpios are very intuitive. I feel like it's blocked right now at the moment. But I feel like they want to come forward. This is Major Arcana right here. To have determination and faith, you know, to be able to get through this, okay? And I see you guys getting through it with the Palace of Swords. The Two of Wands, are they really trying to decide, trying to make a decision, possibly between you and somebody else. Show me how the Sagittarius is feeling about Sagittarius. If you're a Sagittarius dealing with another Sagittarius. Let's see. If you're a Sagittarius dealing with another Sagittarius. Ooh, Page of Wands. Oh, wait, these three popped up. I'm taking them. Queen of Coins, Palace of Coins in Reverse, and the Page of Wands. Oh, boy. Why? Why? Well, the Sagittarius has fire for you. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be long term, to be honest with you. Six of Swords here. If you've been having a fight with them or it's been drama, I see them wanting peace with you. But some of y'all feel like this person got money issues. This Sagittarius might have money issues or it's something here with the page of coins in reverse i mean the queen of coins in reverse some of y'all could be another woman or another man that's in the middle of y'all but i see here um palace of coins in reverse so it's something to do possibly with money which is keeping y'all to get apart but i see them moving forward wanting peace with you if there's been any type of drama and there's definitely fire there you know they're coming in as a page though show me the capricorn How does the Capricorn feel? How does the Capricorn feel about Sagittarius spirit? <laughs> Bound, trapped by you, wanting victory with you. You guys are not talking right now. This person wants victory with you. They're really trying to decide with the seven of coins in reverse if they should come forward, you know, how they should do it. Because they feel like they've invested in you, but there's no communication right now. This person is really scatterbrained about it. They're thinking about this a lot with that Eight of Swords, but they want victory with you. The Six of Wands, they want deep victory with you for sure. They're just questioning right now. Show me the Aquarius. How does the Aquarius feel about Sag? The lovers in reverse. Oh, some of y'all, this is a disconnect here. Separation, possibly incompatibility. Disharmony. Oh, six of wands again. This person won victory with you, though. The knight of cups in reverse. Ooh. With the knight of wands. Okay. Okay. I see you. This is you here being passionate, driven, fiery. I don't know if you fucking with them, though, because they deny the cups in reverse. So this person is either disconnected and heartbroken because of what happened to you. This is about disappointment. Or this person has some toxic energy around them with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Either they could be mentally, I mean, not mentally, moody, have temper tantrums, like uh, moody, you know, moody tantrums. Or this person changes their feelings quickly. Okay. But Knight of Wands, I see you either moving away from them or I see you still staying like, you know, vic like victorious in this. Still staying strong with that Knight of Wands. That's your card. Finally, Pisces. If you are Sagittarius dealing with a Pisces, how does this Pisces feel about Sag? Yeah. The Five of Cups. Ooh, lost. Like they lost you. Depressed, sad. Oof. In a head about it. Some of y'all, this person has having mental issues, has to go to therapy. This Pisces is fucked up right now with a the chariot. They want to come forward towards you. 
The temperance and reverse. Didn't I say they fucked up? Temperance and reverse. That's Sagittarius energy. So they're very, they're very imbalanced at the moment. Some of y'all, they can have addictions. Um, like I told you, this could mean that they're possibly seeking professional services for help because they're really fucked up right now. Like this is my tears card. I feel like they've cried a lot about you in this situation. And I feel like they have the determination and the willpower to come forward here. And to be able to um, go through it, get through any obstacles between you and them. All right, Sag, so that's your reading. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, um, personal readings, email me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. And I love you guys so much. Blessings. <laughs> I love y'all. See y'all next time. Toodles. Bye.